how one day someone walks into your life and you cannot remember how you ever lived without them. We love what we love. Reason does not enter into it. In many ways, unwise love is the truest love. Anyone can love. That's as easy as putting a penny in your pocket. But to love something despite to know the flaws and love them too, that is rare, that is pure, and that is perfect. Ryan and Bailey, you have already built a strong foundation out of love and respect, and today you are merely announcing to each other and to everyone here in this room that you will continue to do so as husband and wife. Do you, with your family and friends as your witnesses, present yourselves willingly to be joined in marriage? Will you promise to care for each other in the joys and in the sorrows of life, sharing responsibilities to grow together and enriching your lives as a family? And if so, please answer, we will. We will. It is through the promises made, the love shown here today, and the power vested in me that I have the honor and the delight to declare to you from this day forward to be husband and wife, Ryan, you may kiss your bride. Bailey, who would have thought seven years ago when we met, we would be getting married? I know it took longer than you liked, <laughs> but we're standing here now, and I couldn't be more happy. Bailey, you've stuck by my side through everything we've been through. You taught me what love truly means. You taught me how to be my best self. You're passionate, hardworking, driven, caring, compassionate, and you're even sometimes funny. <laughs> I promise to cherish you forever. I promise to love you through good and bad. I promise to take care of you, Ned and Kitty and Benny forever. I promise to be the best husband and father I can be. And I promise to make you happy in each and every day. Ryan, it seems like just yesterday we were driving around in your little blue Ford. And look at us, seven years later, standing here, vowing to spend the rest of our lives together. We've grown up from two reckless kids who loved freely to two adults that learned that pure love takes hard work and dedication. I know that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. You know how I am with decision making. It's never been easy for me. Yet I've never felt as this at ease about a decision in my life. I came across this quote and it says, the secret of a happy marriage is finding the right person. You know they're right if you love to be with them all the time. <laughs> as simple as that sounds, I think that captures our love perfectly. I vow to honor, love, and cherish you through all life's adventures. Wherever we go, we go together. <laughs> I vow to have patience even when you have a million questions the second anything comes out of my mouth that requires you to leave the house. <laughs> I vow to try my hardest to step away from my stubbornness and accept that I make mistakes and that I am, to my dismay, not always right. I vow to choose you every day, a million times over, not because I have to, but because I want to. 
You're the one I want to binge watch The Office with forever. <laughs> Your arms are the ones I want wrapped around me at the beginning and end of each day. You are my home. The people you love, you love so fiercely. And I know that you will protect me no matter what. You are the person I want to start a family with and do this thing we call life. I love you. Bake with <laughs> I was 10 years old when Bailey was born, and she was the most incredible gift any 10-year-old could ask for who needs a horse when you get a baby. I remember feeling overwhelmed with excitement and with self-imposed responsibility. My new job as a role model was something I took very seriously. Bailey, watching you grow up to be the beautiful woman that you are has been such a blessing. Ah! <laughs> you are strong, caring, and empathetic. You make good choices. <laughs> and it looks like Ryan is another one of those good choices. Woo! Ryan, she's very happy. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Welcome to the jungle. I know Ryan's hoping I talk more about how tall he is, how he can bench 400 pounds, but I'd rather talk towards his character. It's such a rarity in life to find someone who will truly bear, be there for you during life's up and downs. Ryan has always embodied the definition of loyalty. Whether it's as simple as listening to my work stories, helping me build my house, or sharing a twin-size bed for five days on a houseboat. I can honestly say he's been there for me through whatever life has brought, and I consider him a brother. We, along with Bailey, have named ourselves a terrible trio over the years. Our more responsible friends and our parents would likely agree that when we are together, there's never a shortage of laughs, funny but often hurtful digs, and exorbitant amount of peer pressure for poor decisions. We have been blessed for greater than a decade to see our fiercely loyal and hardworking friend grow into the amazing human that she is today. <laughs> Oh God, already? <laughs> we have also been fortunate to witness our best friend fall in love with someone just as thoughtful, goofy, and loving as we are. We've spent the last years growing up and we've watched you fall in love with someone who I can say with full confidence is just as obsessed with you as I am. <laughs> I know we're supposed to tell you all about the moment we knew Ryan was the one for Bailey, but we're still waiting for it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we are typically taught that a home is a tangible place, a house, country, or postal code. And yet somehow home cannot be simply explained by a street number. Sometimes it's a voice, a face, or a laugh more honest and familiar that you could hear it in your head on repeat. We're taught in the most literal sense home is where we live and grow. But one day, you realize that you never did more living or growing than when you had certain people by your side. We are so happy for you that you have both found your forever home by each other's side. This special and unforgettable night is a happy celebration of a perfect pair of people who are unapologetically in love with each other. So let's all take a moment to raise our glasses to the bride and groom. Let's toast to the incredibly exciting road that lies ahead. To, to Bailey and Ryan! me in the hallway and you don't think I, I, I can see it, do you? I've been watching you for ages and I spend my time trying not to feel it. But what would you do if I went to touch you now? What would you do if they never felt 